Hey, what's up? It's CJ here, and today we're gonna go through one of my films from my portfolio and show the before and after. Basically, I took some of my old videos and I re-edited them so they can look better in my portfolio. Here's the first of a few that we'll probably look at. And it may sound cliche, but basketball is everything to me. You know, um, since a youngin, you know, it just became a, you know, a joy, a passion, um, an escape. Competitiveness, uh, camaraderie, um, just that skill, skill to get better, skill to win. Some odd years later, I made it a career, so you know, this is literally everything to me. Um, I don't take it for granted, and uh, you know, until I die, I'm gonna have a basketball in my hand. So that video was in my portfolio about a year and a half ago. And it was a shoot that I did with a friend of mine who is actually a professional athlete. He plays basketball overseas. And I decided to do a little spot for him, you know, like the Nike type of athlete commercials that you typically see. So in going back and looking at the video, it, it was good. It's not a bad video, but after getting like a little bit of feedback from it, there's a couple of things that really started to stand out to me that I should have changed or should have done a little bit differently. And here is my list of things that I probably should have done a little bit differently. One is I saw that the audio levels weren't like they should have been. There were times where the audio were competing with the uh, music itself, especially with the horns and the type of uh, loud noises that came from that beat that I used. There was some points where the audio could have been normalized or a little bit better. Honestly, at the time, I didn't have a great recorder to really get some good crisp audio outside. So I used what I had and that's really, you know, what kind of came out of it. But now I know a little bit more about audio and I'm also able to uh, edit that audio a little bit better. So I was able to get it a little bit more crisp, get a little bit more gain out of it and also limit some of the background noise a little bit. Another thing was that, you know, when we started to talk and have that dialogue where I actually sat him down and we did a little bit of an interview, he didn't really have much to say. And there wasn't like a ton of audio that I could use to actually span for a one minute section. His message was very clear, very concise, and very short and sweet. So uh, honestly, the film should have reflected that as well and not drawn out. There's a, por there's a portion where the audio stops and then starts back up again, where we kind of have this break in just you know music and slow motion clips that you know it, it works, but it's not really necessary and doesn't really tell the story. I also noticed that some parts were a little bit too slow. There were some parts where I slowed it down and cut them a little bit too slow. And that's okay for a long film, especially if I had things like audio being played over top of it or voiceover that added to the story. But if it's just slow motion footage for no reason and just music, then it's not really necessary for a short one minute film like this. And that's where I kind of felt like the edit was not actually being driven by the beat. It wasn't being driven by the, the music. And it kind of separated itself from the music at some parts of the film. And that was so I can add in those slow motion clips and, you know, do all these little different things that weren't really necessary. But if I had a song or had some music that actually drove the film, I think it would be a little bit better. I also realized I didn't really have enough clips to really span the entire one minute. I mean, just looking at the clips themselves, a lot of them are repetitive and a lot of them um, just just repeat themselves in ways that, you know, you don't really need that as a viewer. And you start to kind of lose interest because you're starting to see similar or the same type of clips over and over again. So I feel like halfway through the film, you start to get a little bit disinterested in the film. And if you are still watching it, you're watching it just because you want to see the end of it or you just have enough time. You want a film that's going to be very compelling and something that actually makes people want to watch from beginning to end. And not only from beginning to end, but maybe go back and watch again. So let's take a look at the film that I ended up creating after taking all of these notes and after kind of reconsidering some of these things. And mind you, this was actually a year later after I've actually shot this. Uh, it may sound cliche, but basketball is everything to me. You know, um, 
competitiveness, just that skill. Skill to get better, skill to win. Twenty some odd years later, I made it a career. So, you know, it's, it's literally everything to me. Um, I don't take it for granted. Until I die, I'm gonna have a basketball in my hand. So, when looking at this film, is a lot different. One of the things that I did was I added some clips from highlights that he had on his own person. He had clips of him playing basketball and that allowed me to kind of relate the footage that we were shooting to him actually producing and playing as a professional athlete. Then I added a bit of depth to the film and a bit of depth to the story to allow you to really understand who this person is that you're watching. Not only did it fix that problem as far as the story, but it also fixed the problem of not having enough clips. This way I can really focus on the good clips that I had, the clips that really should make the cut. And now actually making a 30 second spot with this, you have a more interesting film and you also have uh, a film that the audio, the voiceover actually spans the entire film. Um, you kind of hear that story. You have uh, another song that is a little bit more um, driven and drives the cut of the film. Um, I actually started it off with a riser to actually bring in a little bit of that anticipation to the faster moving clips. So just making a few little tweaks and thinking of it in a different way allowed me to make a more compelling and interesting film. Film. Let me know in the comments below about what you would have changed in the first film and uh, let me know what you think about the comparison between the before and after. Is it better? Is it a little bit more compelling? Is it a little bit more interesting? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.